One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 2010 Chevy 2500 HD in the 4x4 model. It's a nice little truck. It's a government rig, government maintained, low miles, like 88,000 or so on it. Um, I have did the interior video already, or I've done the interior video already, and that'll be uploaded after this one. Make sure and check this out. God dang it, I got some of these little burrs in my foot out here. I've got sandals on. Sorry to swing that around. It's in great shape. My dad just took this thing. I'm pretty sure it's um, 1,800 miles one way. He took about 5,000 miles or so. Um, I have to double check with him, but he just went on a super long road trip hunting. He put the shell on it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to get this thing out of my toe. Got it. Howie. Okay, so that's the deal. A quick walk around to show you outside of it and how nice it looks from afar. I do a walk around in the interior video also. At nighttime, kind of, with a dark out. Not completely dark, just no sun. And then other than that, I'm going to go around this thing and show you underneath it um, sway bars and stuff, or whatever you call them, and just everything unique about it. Then we'll go for a little test drive and check it out. The tires are pretty good. They're a BFG All-Terrain TA. They got a good bit of tread left on them. I'd say 50-60%. Now you want to see some bracing and roll bars and stuff in between the frame here? Yeah, all that. Goes down all the way here, across, brace across here, all the way down and back. We got this rubber piece here that's coming out, um, but you can see all the bars underneath this thing and the skid plates back there. And I'll show you that too. Um, Bill Steam. Or whatever shocks. Hang on. Where is this? I can't see because of the light. I'm sorry. But there's the shocks. And they got little strap overs or something. I don't know what my dad would say. I'll look at the back ones. Let's look at the skid plate. Huge skid plate underneath it. And this thing goes all the way back to here. Um, very clean underneath. This is on the body. Let's look underneath the back here. Oh man, I'm getting too old to go up and down. All oh, the straps there is what he's talking. They put straps on them. It's on both of them. To where they can't overextend or what have you. I don't know that that airbaggy looking thing is factory there. If you're on my channel, maybe you could tell me. Okay, besides a little dirt hill there, it's clean truck. I'm gonna start up in the front here, start going around it, and show you any dents, dings, damages, just anything I find wrong with it that I've seen on it. And rare that I miss something, I may, like first off, Notice the bumper ends are missing. They have brush guards and stuff on it, I'll bet. And they rip all them off and they don't give them to you. So both of them are missing. Ding here. Hood's very clean. Just nice, good looking. I like that Vortec little romper thing in it. What? Romper thing, huh? Um, it could use a buff. There's light little scuffs and stuff here and there. Couple dings there, small door dings. And you could buff it out. We didn't buff it out or nothing. All well, anything. This here, a little discolored. You could you can see I can bite into that with my nail pretty good. Dings in this thing. In the door of it. And both sides open, but the other side has shell. So I should show it in the night one. Ooh, scratchy scuffs right up along there. Just something that would buff that, like, we didn't buff it. Four by four. Plenty of clearance for just anything you need. Kind of simple. I think it fits thinking you got it. three inches on either side, and these are a. Uh, what are these? Hang on now. Somebody out there wants to know the size. 
265 75R16. It's gotta be a 31, don't it? Um, so you can see a couple dings in this thing. And the roof had dings in it there too on the shell. Um, everything's really clean. Rub over it and you can tell there's some sticker residue there from where they had maybe a, a truck number or something like that on it. Um, this here is just a tad off. And you could probably lift that back in or something. That's a tad off though, as is this piece. Yeah, there, look, it lifts right back in. So it's just kind of unloosened a bit. Got a little gouge in it. Back's in good shape. Little dings here or there. I showed you inside it last night, little rub marks. And scuff scratches, miscellaneous on the back. In great shape. Bumper, great shape. Down the sides, same thing. You could just hardly see anything, but there's a light, scuffy, scuffy things right there. Just ever so lightly. You really don't notice it unless you get right up on it and really look at it or something. Um, I told you that. Probably an antenna or something. I don't know. Uh, a little bit less tread on the backs in the middle, probably about 40% or so. Ding right here, here, here. And I think that's one. Ding, ding, ding. And ever so light of dings. Just hard to see. There's one right there though. And I'm sure there's one I'm forgetting somewhere. You just can't see them. Winder doesn't look to be all dinked up. It looks like there might be ever the so tiniest little something there and right over there, but nothing where it's right there. Nothing where it started or anything like that, though, that I see. Um, yeah, that's about... Oh, there's this chip in the, gar in the grill. And there's a piece of plastic in that light. And I don't know where it came from. I've got no idea. Lights work, everything works on it. Grill's in good shape, that part, middles and everything. Nothing in that one. But there is a chip in that one of plastic that I got no idea where it came from. So, for what it's worth, that's in there. I don't think it matters. Everything's functional. And that's that. Tow hooks in the front, you name it. I'll take a couple more pictures real quick and go for a test drive. And that'll do it. Let the test drive commence. I don't even know how to get out of here. I ended up over here because I was looking for a place to do this. This thing starts and runs great. 88725 is what it's showing at the moment. Um, in the eBay ad, I always put how many miles are on it at the time. So you'll be able to check that out. And... How many miles it has. I would expect that there's a couple hundred more miles on it because I'm driving it to the gym and such. My battery's gonna go dead. But I'm gonna try and squeeze this test drive in. Now I'm in an apartment complex. We got the off-road test too. Can't be that for a Nice 4x4 truck. 6.0 liter Vortec motor. Pretty economical for being a big old truck. You know, it's not, it's not a tiny little truck. And I say that because like they have a half ton and they have a three quarter ton. And the difference in the three quarter ton and a half ton, the difference of the frame on these trucks is pretty serious. It's a pretty serious difference. The roundabout, we're just getting these in America in the last 10 to 15 years. We're all European now. Okay, I'm gonna even give you a freeway test on this thing or something maybe. It's a great running truck. I did a little road test last night. I got the AC on, and I'll tell you what, it'll clean blow you out of here. Plain and simple. It's hot and cold, and it's hot out. That's what I was trying to say. 
turn it down to where you can hear me. This truck drives great. All the signals and everything were functioning as it should. Um, Dad enjoyed driving it. We got an F450 4x4 coming up. And about six more. So he's needing to move a couple things. We're just going to list them all. Uh, so, this is your test drive. Big fire truck. Ooh, little Ford fire truck. Okay. Test drive, test drive, test drive. Well, that's that. If you got any questions, you can call me up, Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. Classic car there. You can reach me anytime. Um, 546-8748, Gary code 406. And the website is oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and add me here on uh, YouTube, subscribe, or what have you. This thing wants me to put my seatbelt on. That's what the dinger is. No, well, I put my seatbelt on. Oh, I want some of that air. I just got out of the gym. I know it's probably gonna make it too loud, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, buddy. Start running just like it should. They still got a drive-in out here. Cool. You gotta drive in by it, get to it before the next 10 years because they probably won't be around. Well, that is your test drive video. My name's Nathan. I'll shoot you out a part at the end of this. Drive smooth down the road in town or on the highway, you name it. It's a great truck. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful. It's either a 10 or an 11. Um, I'll tell you, you can see in the other video and also on eBay in the ad, of course. Um, but it's 5 of 10, so I really don't know I, why my title says I don't have it with me, though. It's great shape. It's 88,000 original miles. Um, it's a Vortec motor. Um, it's a three-quarter ton, 2500 HD. Um, this thing has got more off-road suspension stuff and Bilstein stuff and lockable shocks to where they don't overextend and... Uh, welded up cages and stuff under than you'd ever believe. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of extra. And I'll tell you what, if you're into lifting something, buddy, you can put some big tires on this. Beautiful truck. Um, I'm going to do this quick once around. And then this here is the interior review. Um, the exterior I'm going to do at a different time of the day. I'm doing the interior first, actually. And give you a, at least a quick walk around to show you how the outside of it looks at this time of day. And it's in great shape. Um, nothing to really talk about on the outside besides I'll talk in the other video how the ends are gone they use um, big bumper guards on them they take off Vortec I just had to get a picture of that I don't know why okay door panels and such I have my wallet in here the truck is generally clean basically we just my dad just took it hunting so it's got some dirt from shoes in it it's got, the seats should probably be cleaned a little bit. You can see there's a little dust on it over there. Um, a little dust in here. It's in great shape. Power, everything, mirrors, windows, all that. I'll go through that stuff with you, and that's going to get annoying for you. Little wear hole right there. You can barely see it. That gets darker. We don't want that. We want lighter. There we go. I like it. Not really any pedal wear. It's in great shape. Um, laminate or whatever coming off right there. I'm going to be pretty picky on... Well, there's a dome light missing or something. Well, the dome light's up there. That might be a rear dome light. Um, all four windows roll down. Well, I mean, I'm not saying, like, they shouldn't. I'm just saying stretch caps like this, usually I wasn't used to that. I haven't had one this new. Oh, wow. Cool integrated handle. Um, and he's got this little um, center console back here. You 
not come with the bullets and such, but it will come with the console. Rubber matting, it does not have the back seat. And if you wanted an extra, this has an extra AC and alternator thing that's super duper potent. And they ran this stuff all back there. And when they take off this government stuff, they just clip it out and leave all the wiring. Um, I don't know what that does. Um, that's that. That's the interior over here. Over here. The seatbelt is a little frayed up. But the seats, generally, are in great shape. That's the only spot on it where I don't mind. As far as that goes. Okay. Doors closed to to tightly. All the seals are there. Doesn't leak air all in them. There's the vent tag. Um, you've got toolboxes. Toolboxes, toolboxes, toolboxes. Now he went hunting and I don't remember what he said. If he had this shell and put it on or if he bought it. But there we go. That flips out the shelf and you got a toolbox back there. You can keep this shell, you can sell this shell. Hell, you can do whatever you want with this shell. Shell, yeah. Racking up top. Stuff or whatever. Oh, hail damage on the top. And there was on a couple of things that I showed the other day walking around. The floor and everything in it is great. There's a couple leathers my dad got and stuff like that, some wood. We've been using it for work around here a little bit too. Aluminum body, I think. Oh, this here. Deal. I'm gonna go while well, I'm right here. I'm gonna open the hood. And go back this way. I can't get off from my little thing. If I get off from how I usually do it, won't be as easy for me to keep on doing it. Door panels are in good shape. There's, you know, they could be cleaned. We just had it washed real quick. We didn't do nothing to it. Uh, look, they didn't even clean that and scrub that. It's just got a little dirt on it from doing things still and a little dust on the seat. He's got some paperwork in here and hand warmers. He was definitely hunting. Dash is in good shape. There's a little gouge right there, a little scratch tech thing. It's not broken or anything like that. Um, I don't know about that. Piece of dust. It's a dust bunny. Now this one I've noticed, oh, it wasn't hard at all. Maybe it just hadn't been opened and I was the opener. I had to put my plate on it, so. It has a screwdriver. Power and all that. Look at this, man. For screens and all. And I'll bet you, you got some stuff between here. Oh hell, I don't know where it'll all go. I think there's a big tube right there where they probably ran some stuff. So I don't know what all that is. I know everything's functional on it, it's all good. They just removed that stuff like the center console and such. It's gone. Okay. Doors open and close nicely. The running boards he put on it are very nice and useful, for sure. You know, the tires are nice BFGs. They got a good amount of tread. The back one, the drive one, is a little bit less. Let me get this open. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that was easy. I hadn't done one of these in, ever. So, since like the 90s models. Okay. Clean as can be. Clean as a dish. Is a whistle really that clean? I've heard that saying all my life. I'm gonna have to turn this off and take some pictures of the interior. There's a little, that's starting to fray a little bit. Well, I could have put that up and acted like nothing was wrong. I don't do that kind of stuff, okay? Even the heat shield on the Exhaust manifold, just stuff, it's, it's in great shape. Everything's in great shape. Okay, what is this, 6.0 or 5.3 or 6.0? I 
I thought so, man. It seems pretty freaking ballsy. Like you could pull a house down. Okay. Beautiful truck. All right, then. I got my motor pictures. I got my interior pictures. I had to place that outside. So I'm either going to be tacky about it now and put it back in during the video. You know, I could have just went around and worked twice and came and did it. But that ain't what I did. No, no, no. Did I not mention 4x4? Four four? Yeah, baby. You probably knew it. Freaking thing's high enough. You know it had to be. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I just scare myself every time when I take the keys out of these bad boys. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a quick test drive. And key fob is active. Does the... Everything powers up like it should. No warning lights or anything stay on. 88,710 miles. Um, AC blows cold. Cruise control is all good. Auto roll down on that one, but not on that one. They work. They're rolling down the backs as I'm talking. You can see they're down. And now they're coming up. Boom, boom. Um, turn the passenger airbag off if need be. Lights are good. I know the dome light works. Oh, that might just turn those on. Because you got a switch here. Yeah, that's what it does. Um, got these here bad boys. Alright. Dual things. I don't know if that's traction control. Traction control off. Traction. That's what it was. Okay. You know, it doesn't do too bad on fuel either. Well, I mean, I'm going to have somebody come in. Yeah, I have this kind of car and I get 36 miles a gallon. That beast doesn't get nowhere near that. Nope. You're right about that. But when it comes to big trucks, the Vortec line has been pumping out some great, long, durable, lasting motors. Oh, man, I'm going to get one of those Pontiac Solties one day. That's what it is, too. Oh, Saturn View, same thing. Same thing. They all look the same. Is that okay to say? Okay. On the road, it is... You know, the only time... I, I detail a lot of cars. And I'm around these cars all the time, just babying them through the process of what I do here. Shifts nice, steers nice. These Bilstein shocks on it are, I don't know if they are, you can set them. Set it and forget it! Really. So you don't overextend or something when you're off-roading. Corners nicely and all. And just the drivability of the truck, it's a nice driving truck. Even if you haven't driven trucks a lot or something, it's not a hard vehicle to drive in the least. I've driven all kinds of vehicles in my life. I've sold 5,000 of stinking cars. I mean, tested out so many more than that, it's pitiful. So, I know little about driving them, and I'll tell you, these Chevy Silverados, if that's what this is, Chevy pickup truck, in Ford pickup trucks, forever, have been just some easy, good driving rigs. stuff like that. Truck's in great shape. You can decide what you want to do on the little thing, like the back seat. Depends on what you're doing. I never use it. I build myself a little shelving system in there. Great truck. You know what? I want to make sure that this here is chipped. Yeah. There's little chips there from the, um, throwing rocks back into it from the tires. I want to make sure and say that before I... Mm. 
nothing wrong. Sounds good. You can hear the slight little tick 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 tick. Just a slight little thingy thing. Probably fuel. No warning lights, no airflow fuel mixtures, nothing of the sort. All the lights are good. I think I should, yeah, I showed you the miles. Oh, you gotta pull down. Now, you know what? I'm an old guy here. Drive M and one. What is M? It used to be one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, or one, two, drive, or one, two, drive, overdrive. One medium? One MD? Me! I don't know. Speed limit, man. That's all a guy needs to do right there. I'm gonna turn this thing back around and go back down the road here to where I can show you again. Just rolling down the road, I mean. And like I say, I know this truck runs good. I know it's a good running truck. I know it's got no problems right now because my dad just drove it. I think it's 1,800 miles one way to Wolf Point, Montana from San Diego. drove around up there for two weeks hunting and all kinds of stuff so it for sure is a good running rig and he's enjoying driving it you can look on my site I've got an F450 available um, he actually has three or four cars right now that he's selling which is why he's not going to keep this one he's got his regular dually pickup he drives, but he didn't want to take it. It's just a little, it don't fit in the grooves right, and you can complain and complain to the cows come home, but it's just not great off-roading in the dual. It's in great shape. Everything on the truck that I've tried works. I don't know of anything I haven't tried. Radio works. AC is cold. Uh, Winders work. He got the oil changed. <laughs> he got it changed. Yeah. He got it changed when he got it. I don't know if you can see that. And it's already due again. That's yeah, 50 degree. It was a pump pump. Because if you change it every 3,000 or every 6,000, they use it down. For you to get you back there. So, and he put money, he put the steps and the shell on it. He wanted that for hunting and stuff, so that worked out well. Okay, that's the deal. This truck is for sale. I'm gonna park it here for the moment. Do some different stuff now. All right, I'm gonna get a picture of that too. Can't beat that. It's just a nice, clean, good running truck. Uh, auto, or you can turn them off. 2500 HD. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, you can call me about the truck. 406-546-8748. My name is Nathan. And call anytime. It's a great truck. It's for sale. And you can see a bunch of pictures on my website. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, call anytime. Nathan, 546-8748. Call anytime. Nathan, 546-8748.